Oh. Okay, so this is Munkajaro, uh, which is a build of Manjaro by Munkapai. What Munkapai does is uh, puts all sorts of extras into an operating system. So he did it with Lubuntu. Uh, there's uh, various different RetroPie builds that he's done where he's added loads of different programs, mainly based around games and emulation. Uh, and I really like them, and so I'm really pleased he sent me a link for this download. And I'll put a link for the download in the description if you want to try it out. But uh, I'm running it at 720 now. On my 4K TV, it came up at 4K, uh, and the Pi never really runs an operating system that well at 4K. So initially, I dropped it down to 1080, but then I thought for some of the emulators, maybe running it at 720 might give it an even better chance. So this is running at 720. It means the icons are huge, but it probably makes for a better video because it means I have to zoom in less. Uh, to so when I'm editing I usually zoom into various things but you can see everything comes up pretty big really um, so I'm connected to a wired network I'm overclocked to 2147 I'm just going to check so if I go into boot and config.txt yeah so I'm running at 2147 with the graphics at 750 there are a few extra things that uh, Monka has put in there as well. So let's just close that down and have a look around. So on the desktop, we've got Belena Etcher, so you can write your SD cards. Um, so if you want to put any other images on your Raspberry Pi, you can with this operating system. Scraper, I believe, just gathers all the information about games and box art and things like that. Uh, PPSSPP is an excellent PlayStation Portable emulator. Uh, here, I don't know what JDownloader is, um, so I'll leave that. I see BitTorrents on there, FileZilla's on there. These are various things that uh, are in the favourites. If I go to Applications, really what we're looking for here is games. Um, I mean, you can look at some of the other. He sometimes does some things with coding and things like that. Uh, but, uh, but I'm going to go straight into games. So you can see there's a few things in here. What have we got? Checkers. Logic Games, Sudoku. And we've got, now these are really interesting. So June 2000, so open, uh, so this is based around uh, Command and Conquer Red Alert, uh, Open RA Red Alert. And it, I've covered it in a previous RetroPie video, great real-time strategy game. And uh, I really like them. So there's three of those in there, nice to see. So a uh, Nintendo DS emulator. I haven't really played around a lot with a Nintendo DS emulator because a lot of the games are, are dual screen, but I, I need to have a look at that. This was the one that was exciting, uh, and this was in one of uh, Monka's uh, RetroPie builds, Dolphin Emulator, so Wii and GameCube. So let's go for Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. Let's get past all this. See, the video plays all right, though, and I'm sure when I played it on something else, uh, on the Supreme Pro build, it didn't play well. So let's ignore any errors we get. This 3D looks pretty smooth, a little bit of tear in there. Yeah, the menus move really fast. So waiting for the wave. I don't know which the start button is. A. Oh, I try <laughs> I've tried every button then. Let's move my mouse pointer out of the way. The audio is a bit sort of crackly. I don't seem to have a stand. Oh, one of the triggers is a stand button. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's risky. Oh, well, that got me up anyway. So this, from a point of view of the speed, looks reasonable, doesn't it? Let's see if we can uh, exit out and back in. So I need to come back to that and try a bit of a uh, bit of GameCube because that that looks interesting. That that is playing pretty well. As I say, it's a bit scratchy on the sound. X seems to give you a bit of a pop out the way. Or I can grab my board. It's a bit sort of Tony Hawk's Dave Mirror, which I like. Let's see if we can get back in. I think there's probably a sharp. Oh, oh, he's in the barrel there. Yeah, like that. Can play that for a lot longer. So let's quit out of that and let's just show you a few more things that come with it. Uh, but that 
that's working pretty well. And I haven't played around with anything, I've just lowered the resolution just to try it. I wonder why PSP is on the desktop. Let's have a look and see if it's in here as well. No, maybe it was added afterwards. So if I try, I don't think I've got any Nintendo DS ROMs on my stick at all. So let's see what, what happens with that. Maybe I need to have a look at that. So there's my stick. ROMs. NDS it'll be, wouldn't it? No, so I need to have a look at that. So let's try PSP then. So it comes up huge because I'm on my 720 resolution. So I always find this bit a bit weird to, to navigate. Uh, so, oh, so we can open on here. So is that going to be the easier way to check? Retroprime mount, ROMs, PSP, bit of Grand Theft Auto. Haven't checked any settings on here. Let's see how it runs straight off the bat. Music's working, obviously. I need to quit out of music because I don't want any copyright strikes. So no music. So it looks decent. So I'd say it's probably on the two times setting. Oh, the performance is good as well. Yeah, nice wheelie. Right, so let's get out of here into the open world. A bit, bit, um, oh, bit, sorry, mate. He's, uh, he's got a gun as well. He didn't mind, though. Yeah, I'd say this performance is decent. Do we reckon frame skip is on? I'm guessing it's on one. Is this the one out? Way out. And we're off. I'm going to go this way. I normally go right. Oh, <laughs> that's that mouse pointer is annoying, isn't it? Let's get rid of that. So, can I go over this way? So, oh, let's go over the bridge. Oh, don't know how I stayed on there. Yeah, but this. So this is working well. We'll have to have a look at the settings and see what settings. Give this score. <laughs> is he going to come after me? Where is he? Is he gone? Where'd he go? Okay. Whoa. So let's have a look at the settings. Uh, what have we got? So graphics, OpenGL, buffered rendering. Frame skips off. And it's on two times. Wow. And this isn't even on. Lazy texture caching speed up. Or disable slower effect speed up. And the curves quality is on high. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. PPSSPP looking good. So let's quit out of that. Yeah, and as I uh, as I found out the other day as well, RetroArch is on there and there are loads of builds on there. I don't think it's set up. For, no, it's not set up for my controller. So you need to set it up for your controller. But if I go into cores, you can see loads of cores are on there. All sorts of things has already been done. So once again, Great work. Uh, this It's a really in interesting build. I'm going to play around with this a lot more uh, when I'm not recording and uh, and see if I can... I need to have a look at Nintendo DS and see if there are games that, that don't need the touchscreen and, and how well they run and everything because that was a decent platform. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much to Munker and uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.